Plaza Apartments, LLC, the most serially violent single address in Venice. What do you think about honoring Tom, the honorary custodian, on your sign? He's the Horizon Apartments, LLC, rapist. How many millions of dollars did you make off of that property? Man. I love how this many, man. Well, how many, why'd you evict me? How many African Americans are dead at Horizon Apartments, Zero. LLC? Zero? Let's count together. We have unimpeachable documentation. Lambert Investments. Poverty Pimp. Let's look at this racist poverty pimp. Walk away, Carl. Let's cover Carl Lambert's racist. Puts his out so the tourists don't think that he's a racist. But Sonia Greenland Reese, Arthur Reese's granddaughter, he was contemporaneous with Abbott Kinney himself in the early part of the 20th century producing this. His granddaughter called Drug House Becky Dennison Horizon Apartments LLC, nonprofit lease partner service provider, civil invasion, called her a racist and demanded a public apology, but that goes down the Tracy Pimp vein. Drain. That's a meth Mike Bonin. How much do the dots spend on this? Venice Chamber of Commerce stakeholder sewer, he owns it. Meth Mike Bonin, Dirty Roger Mahoney, pedophile protection racket. Horizon Apartments LLC, 20 units. The perfect microcosm of the lease partner, quote unquote, non-profit service provider hustle. That's Drug House Becky Dennison, BLM, LA, Can Elite, Snow White, Splain. Activist protocol, somehow a Section 8 landlord and owner of a free property has has felon Carl Lambert through crack house Jack V. Hoffman Market Street broker, philosopher, real estate agent, making hundreds of thousands of dollars off of felon Carl Lambert's millions. A woman was raped and murdered right here. There's the Horizon Rest Rape Rooms, where Tom the Rapist still works. Tom, our honorary street custodian, because that's the level of schadenfreude that you just saw with felon Carl Lambert. There's the Pacific Division substation that stood down. There's the genesis of the meth encampment, profitable. Civil invasion, long in process, long strategized, long covered, long paying a bloody battered price. As Uni Party Republican Rhino Radio interviews Tracy Pimp and Carol Sobel, all these Venice Community Housing Corporation, Community Corporation of Santa Monica Poverty Pimps, Garcetti's Pimp, Predator, Parasite. Criminal Chief Mike Moore just left, a mega millionaire. Been on the radio dozens of times. He's Rhino Radio Freaks. Theatrical Eight Bridge, preaching to the converted. There's a Nazi, this is perfect. There's a Nazi censor from Radio Radio Free Venice. No views. There's Edison. Hi, you want to cover the most viewed artist? You want to cover the most you want to cover the most viewed artist who's censored by these people? 700,000 views? Yeah, take a picture of the guy with no views who doesn't sing or write who comes from Germany and censors people here. Well, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a censorous pimp. And so are you, Edison. And so are you, Edison Paparazzi. Can you take your tongue out of felon Carl Lambert's butt? Can you guys take your tongue? Off of Feldman Carl Lambert's butt, Edison, Venice Pooparasi, you sewer of contempt for the uh, rape women here. Perfect. Stan Becker's songs, you too. 700,000 views, thank you very much. Fast, bloody, battering, ostracization, ruination, eviction. Five 
watch the white people dance. Try to. Rise and rest rape room. Stan Becker. We'll cover the Rhino Radio freaks. Creating as much division as their highly coordinated idiot partners on the other side. Of the same side. The blacks and the Hispanics know that they're being ripped off. This felon Carl Lambert pimp with Steve Clare, Horizon Health, Horizon Apartments, LLC, Venice Community Housing Corporation, Hollywood Community Housing Corporation, Sexual Predators on Youth. Ask me to prove it. I have unimpeachable documentation. Ask me to prove it. Why isn't this information unpacked? Rhino Records, A&R, Apple iTunes, Liberty Hill Foundation, Philanthropist, my dear friend of 36 years, Gary Stewart. We're coming up on Easter, the fifth anniversary of his very public suicide during my retaliatory eviction after being beaten, bludgeoned, attacked from behind, serially. It's still happening. You're deplorable since 1951. Certified Google Master. Stan Becker, thank you. Again, John Davis, Metropolis Mastering in London. I don't mind that he moonlights with Led Zeppelin because they're pretty good. Led Zeppelin's remastering engineer helped me inordinately. He mastered Mean and Restless, building back a better new normal. They had that pulled and reported. Google, YouTube reviewed it, wrote me an apology letter and reinstated it, but the several dozens of incredible tidal wave of fan reviews never came back. The fans did screen shoot them, but they've done everything to stop my honest working class efforts. I've been here 43 years. My dad was born in Nazi Poland. I was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1951. Talk about this Venice being the Coney Island of the West. Well, that uh, the Coney Island, real Coney Island, is where I grew up, right near Sheepshead Bay. My dad was born in Nazi Poland in World War II, decorated for courage in active combat in World War II. God knows what he would have done with these anti-Semitic hate crime bitches. That whole generation wouldn't have tolerated the freedoms that they fought and died for that these people misuse and abuse his lawfare. He's a poverty pimp, felon lawyer, so is George Francisco, Chamber of Commerce, so is Steve Clare. Okay, the lawfare idiots, they've got you coming and going. That's why he can be so arrogant. Woman was raped and murdered right here. The short and freedom of the loyal the Marymount Jew hate to hire groomer Meth Mike Bonin, Bonin, who after our video on our documentary channel, which has over a quarter of a million views, gee, I'm sorry, sorry conservative radio media freaks owned by Disney that are really not conservative. Venice Beach Business Improvement. Those are the bin, bid felon fake police who've been stalking me. The five or six of them who promised to fuck me up as they pass the broken bottles, the needles, the human excrement, and the real dangerous people. In fact, somebody that's 72 years old and a non-criminal that's had five orthopedic surgeries from being an IATSE local AD grip. After being a director of publicity at Rhino Records, this is small indie there with Gary Stewart, a very close relationship. Created history, it's now the premier archival label in the world, created several dozens of jobs in the economy. It's extrapolated extraordinarily. I'm very proud of my association with Gary and that small coterie of Rhino staff. I said it doesn't, but it ages made history together. I'm going to talk about all those artists that came to my office and all those adventures soon. I'm stuck in this box of bloody, literally bloody trauma for right now. There's the Santa Monica Pier. There's the Venice Pier. Stand down Pacific Division, Chief Moore. Dirty police. It's really a shame. 
the honest ones went on the air from the South Bay and said, during the strategic mobocracy, George Floyd riots, as African American at Carl Fallon said zero, we're going to count them. We're going to count the suicide cluster in the rise of the apartments LLC because it blows the lid off the activist protocol for the civil uh, invasion agenda. Elite. Because that bitch is not going to be eating bugs or taking a bus. Let me show you a picture of this portion. Sexual predators on youth. Sydney Zamora sexually assaulted two women in Horizon Apartments. The residential manager, first of several, non title five, with that limited lawyer, Pimp, laughing in my face, right by where these w women were raped by his Tom, the honorary street custodian who uses that jailhouse broom to get really close to the women he pulls into that rest rape room, and we'll show you the pictures. But they hey, don't yeah, care, buddy. because they wait to the statute of limits. Hello, my dear friend. It's nice to see you, sir. How you doing? <laughs> These white people can't dance. You're lucky you have me. So, uh, you know, the real, the real truth is there's no Venice Family Clinic for this gentleman. There's no outreach Venice community housing for all the big pictures of the black people for the tourists. You know, the black people who suffer and are poor here are not treated except for photo ops with the Venice Neighborhood Council, the Venice Family Clinic, or sold at Ursula, suddenly caring about fentanyl deaths because the media's here. A poverty pimp, Felicia Adams Kellum, now being independently investigated. Horizon Apartments, LLC, Carl Lambert. Let's go unit by unit in the perfect microcosm of terror of anti-Semitic violence, of casual freight, easy violence. Because the layers of stooge filter down to the dumber and dumber and dumbest. <laughs> this is Venice Art Crawl. Sonny Box known about those sexual assaults for five or six years. So has the Venice Neighborhood Council, which he owns and controls. He put Kristen Delore, LAPD, up in his luxury penthouse while she was at a Venice Neighborhood Council meeting deployed for our police department but she had courage and integrity she ended up suing the LAPD she knows about Horizon Apartments everybody does that's why there's a lid on yours truly the last true rock and roll hope broke the color line. I interviewed Ike Turner in Men's Colony State Prison. And he told me about the Universal Temple. 